In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a power steering crossover hose on a Honda Accord. If you need any parts, check us out at oneauto.com. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. The first thing we should mention is it's always a good idea to make sure you flush the power steering system with the manufacturer's specified fluid, so you're sure there's no contaminants in the system. Aside from that, it's also a good idea to remove as much of the fluid from in the system once you're done as possible. Now let's make our way along the back side of the engine. We're looking for the area where the power steering return hose connects onto the power steering return tube that leads over to the power steering rack. Make sure you have a collection bucket under this area, because there is always the probability of having fluid in this line. Use a 10 millimeter to loosen the clamp, we'll slide the clamp out of the way, and separate the hose from the line. Now for me personally, I'm going to replace this clamp. If you're not, you just want to continue loosening it until it comes apart. It's common for these to just break. I like to replace them. Of there. There we are. Once you have the clamp slid down the line, we can remove the hose from the tube. To do that, take hold of the hose, give it a little twist to break it free. Now we can slide this off. Once again, there could be fluid in this area, be careful. There we are. We'll let that drain into our collection bucket. Now that we have the hose off of the line, let's continue on following that hose towards the passenger side. You'll find it's held in place with a plastic clip. You can use a small pick or even a small screwdriver, separate that clip and remove the hose from the area. Right in here. There we are. Move that up and out of there. At this point, you can continue on following that hose. You'll find that it makes its way directly underneath the power steering rack where it connects onto the rest of the power steering line. Now to gain access to this, since it is underneath that power steering rack, you could carefully make your way underneath the passenger side, inside of that passenger side wheel well, and remove the clamp, and of course slide the hose out of there. To gain access, let's safely raise and support the front of the vehicle, remove all five of our 19 millimeter lug nuts, and then the passenger side front wheel. Now inside of this area, you'll be able to find where your power steering return line connects to the hose. Use a 10 millimeter to loosen this clamp. We'll slide that out of the way and remove the hose from the line. I always like to replace these clamps. Just squeeze these ears together with some pliers. We can slide this down. Now we'll take hold of the hose, give it a little twist, and start separating it from this area. There's the probability there will be power steering fluid still inside of this area. It's a low point. Make sure you have your collection bucket under here. Now we can take hold of this, start sliding it off of there. Now we can remove that hose. There it is, friend. All right, let's get ready to install our brand new power steering return hose here. We'll take this and put it in position, bringing it right up and over this bracket. There we go. Now we can secure the hose to the line. It's always a good idea to use a new clamp here. 
slide that right on the line. Let's reconnect our power steering hose to the power steering line. Take the two, squeeze them together, bring that hose all the way up to this piece here. Once you've done that, you would want to continue on with installing your clamp and make sure it's nice and tight. Just try to squeeze that together. It's starting to go on. We want to go a little further here. Let's get the clamp on there. For this clamp, I'll be using a quarter inch socket. If you're using the original, just go ahead and use a 10 millimeter. Before I continue tightening this, I just want to give it a quick inspection. You want to make sure that you can still see a little bit of the hose on the opposite side of the clamp. If you're too close to the end, there's the probability it may come loose. And you're going to have a power steering issue. Once you've confirmed it's in the proper place, we'll just make sure it's nice and tight. There's bottomed out. Now let's make our way along the back side of the engine. We're going to connect the other side of that hose with the tube that makes its way across the back side of the power steering rack. Let's slide that right into place. As I'm bringing it in, you want to start paying attention to this area here. There's a small lip. Make sure that the end of the hose is completely bottomed out against there. That looks good. Let's slide the clamp into place. As we put the clamp in place, pay attention to the hose. You want to make sure that you can see hose on both sides of that clamp. If you're too far towards the end here, the clamp might slide off and the hose might slide off of that tube and you're going to have a serious issue. Double check to make sure that the hose is nice and tight. Now we'll follow the hose towards the passenger side. When we were removing the original hose, there was a plastic clip holding it in place. We're going to install that on the brand new hose. So go ahead and slide that hose right in there and lock it in. I have an audible click, give it a light tug, double check to make sure everything's secured and there's no way it's going to rub and get damaged on anything. This looks perfect. Let's move along. Reinstall your wheel. Start on all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts. We'll bottom this out, get the vehicle back on the ground, and we'll torque each one of these lug nuts to 80 foot pounds. With the wheel safely on the ground, continue torquing these in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Let's fill up that power steering system. Making sure that you're using the manufacturer specified fluid, we'll continue adding until we're up to the add lines. You can see right in that reservoir, I'm at the first line, I'll bring it right up to the second line. Now that we have the power steering reservoir filled up to this level, let's carefully raise and support the front of the vehicle, just enough so the wheels are off the ground. Put the key in the on position and turn your steering wheel from one side all the way over to the other. We're gonna do this nice and slow. Once we've made it to that side, we'll continue by going back and forth slowly to each of the stop points. While doing so, you will notice that air will make its way out of the system. While we continue this process, we'll also be paying attention to the level of that fluid. Continue topping it off as needed. Now that we've bled the system that way, let's continue on with removing our funnel, reinstalling the power steering reservoir cap. Now we want to get inside the passenger compartment. Start up the vehicle and let it run for approximately five seconds and turn it right back off. Make your way back out here and double check that power steering fluid level. Typically, it will get drawn down a little bit. Top it off with that manufacturer specified fluid, reinstall the cap, and then run the vehicle for a little while longer. While doing so, make sure you check for power steering fluid leaks.
Now, once you've run the vehicle, you found that you didn't have any more air in the system, and you checked for leaks, go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test. Okay, friend, the car's back together. I hope this video helped you. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell so you can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks for watching.